This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. I'm Steve Sims. I am the author of Bluefish and the Art of Making Things Happen. I founded the world's leading concierge firm for the rich and unknown called Bluefish, and I was called the Real Life Wizard of Oz by Forbes and Entrepreneur Magazine. Fantastic. So tell us, Steve, what is the best thing about being in business? Um, freedom to explore, freedom to fail, freedom to change, adapt, edit, and to live your own path. Love that. So I hear from other creative business owners that they avoid money matters like the plague. Tell me your thoughts on that. Um, I think uh, I, I think sadly people are scared of talking about money. Um, I don't like money. I don't focus on money, but I focus on its byproduct and mm. its ripple effect. So um, I found when I was younger, I used to watch my bank account like crazy, uh, which ended up becoming the tail that wagged the dog. So now I watch the impact rather than the checkbook. I love that. I definitely find in my business, if I just focus on the money, the business starts pulling back because yep. it's really not, you know, making money while in business is great, but that's not why I'm in it. So when exactly. I focus on, you know, just bringing the money in, all those leads all of a sudden start drying up. Yep. Yeah. It's a money's the byproduct of a successful business. It is not the originator. It's not the differentiator. Um, it, in a lot of the cases is not even the fuel because the fuel of a good business is ideas, creativity, solving problems, clients, all of those things. And the byproducts of all of those things working is money. So money should never be the leading element to discuss. I love that. So what other successful creative business owners like yourself should be on my podcast? Oh God. Uh, there's so many good people. Um, Benjamin Hardy, um, Nick Peterson, um, oh God, Joe Polish, Cameron Harold, Jordan Harbinger. There's a whole host of different people. Awesome. Thank you for that list of recommendations. That's a hell of, there's some hell of a good names there, especially Cameron Howard. For a financial group, Cameron, the founder of uh, 1-800-GOT-JUNKS, one of the sharpest guys out there. I love that. So what is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creative business owners should know? My dad, probably one of the biggest, thickest Irish bricklayers I know, turned around to me one day and said to me, son, no one ever drowned by falling in the water. They drowned by staying there. Mm, that is powerful. Powerful. It's one of those things, you know, it's so easy though to stay in the water. Absolutely. A lot of people choose to settle. They choose to stay in the rut. They like familiarity. Um, there's a million one reasons why people fail to try hard because they may fail or they may get embarrassed or it's hard work. And in essence, what they're doing is drowning. Absolutely. So now the most important question of the podcast, Kakaya Vasha Nubima Musica, or in English, what's your favorite music? <laughs> Thank you. I wonder where that was going. Um, I'm, I'm eclectic. In fact, I refuse to like one genre. Music should be one of those things that you don't identify as one type because then you're, you're, you're removing yourself from anything else. I have a very, very high quality audio system in my home and uh, we have only the shuffle button that works and I will play. And it, last night we had dinner and it was ABBA, Andrea Bocelli and Metallica. I love um, that. So, so we literally have so much. We will have Pearl Jam rattling on with a Philharmonic Orchestra with some um, Led Zeppelin suddenly coming in with some uh, Billy Fisher, uh, Billy Eilish. You know, it'll just, there's such a combination. I can't listen to one album. I like the, uh, the eclectic flow of all the different juices. I love that. Well, thank you, Steve, for being on. What's your website so people can find you? Oh, I'm very easy. Um, I'm Steve D. Sims. That's D for dashing. So Steve D. Sims with one M dot com. 
And you can find me on all Instagram and everything, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, under Steve Sims or Steve D. Sims. And my Facebook page is An Entrepreneur's Advantage with Steve Sims. Awesome. I'll include that in the show notes. Thank you. This is Olga Kirschenbaum with Nine Minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creative business owners share their wisdom. Make sure to check out my blog at ragstorichesconsulting.com to get money insights you haven't heard before.